Welcome to the Sound of Data. Twelve artists composed songs from scientific data using data sonification and performed them live on stage in the framework of the project Sound of Data Science Meets Music. And this is how it all began. In the framework of ASH 2022, the European Capital of Culture, the FNR, University of Luxembourg, Liszt and Rockhall joined forces to bring science and music together here at Balval with events, conferences, workshops and a final spectacular concert. The Sound of Data kicked off with a Science Meets Music event featuring interactive workshops, spectacular showcases and inspiring talks. Around 800 visitors discovered the fascinating links between science and music. Well, I have this antenna implanted in my head that allows me to hear the sound of color, so I create art through this new sense. But more precisely, the Sound of Data project was about data sonification, about transforming scientific data into music. The project had three different phases. In the first phase, researchers from LIST and the University of Luxembourg collected four different datasets. Crowdsourced art data, historical data, traffic data and body scan data. For the researchers involved in the Sound of Data, the project was mainly about thinking outside the box, but also about getting inspired by working with artists. The Sound of Data is all about looking at data in a different way. A playful new approach to steer the historical imagination of a broader audience. Well, everyone knows how traffic sounds like, and actually we've been recording it with a device called a piezoelectric. But the real question for us is, how would we sonify uh, this data? Our goal is to make machines link visual 3D body scans to music. What if we define ourselves as a sound, a unique melody? Phase two of the project was to transform the scientific data into music, which was done during an artist residency at Rocklab under the supervision of the Sound of Data's artistic partner, Dr. Valerie Vermeulen, a scientist, musician and recognized expert in the field of data sonification. We selected 11 artists for this residency from Luxembourg and abroad, and in a series of workshops, they learned what data sonification is all about and then each of them composed a track based on a specific data set. Last but not least, the 11 musicians from the artist residency performed their data sonification songs live on stage at Rockhall. Followed by the performance of Valerie Vermeulen, who premiered his commissioned piece with the support of visual artist Jaromir Mulders. The show was impressively closed by musician and scientist Max Cooper with an immersive live show inspired by science. Science is patterns in nature and our understanding, manipulation of those patterns and those systems. And, and music is patterns in sound. So there's a fundamental, really basic link there in terms of patterns. And then the other connection, possibly more important connection, is the human emotional link between um, sciences as a, so as a pursuit of things which give us reward and which we're passionate about and which keep us up at night and that makes us feel good and bad and, you know, this real human meaning and art is the same thing, you know, it's a, it's a pursuit that rewards us. To give the audience the opportunity to better understand what data sonification is about, the concert was preceded by a conference where Valérie Vermeulen, some artists, researchers and the project team explained the process behind data sonification and gave insights how the data can be heard in the songs. 
I try to sonify the voice of women, which normally is not that audible in history, especially not in the industrial area about which we talk. I made a research about the presence of women within uh, a spectrum of time of 37 years in the beginning of the 19th century. And obviously I found a very irregular curve of presence and I found that very interesting to sonify, to use this, this curve as the beat, as a pulse for my track. Ich habe schon mal den historischen Datensatz ausgesucht, den ich selber fand und eigentlich auf der Leifraschen, dem Monument National des Mineurs, gefördert Tonnen gegen durch einen Oszillator hergestellt, den am Anfang so ganz heiß scheißt wie ein Siren quasi, und dann Bassdrum, die an Dave Stave den Ruf geht, je nachdem wie Dax die am Anfang knüpft, sind dementsprechend viele Mineure am Anfang gestorben. Interesting, you may think. But you also may have asked yourself, what the hell is data sonification? And why data sonification? The world has become very data driven. Data sonification is a kind of visualization for the ears. And we already use it for many things in our daily lives. Remember Chernobyl? Submarines? Or your first driving lesson? But data sonification has much more potential. Data sonification allows to link sounds and music and thus emotions to data. Sonification is therefore a useful tool to communicate about data. And we did discuss this topic during a conference organized in the context of the project. But the main goal of our project was to take a more artistic approach to data sonification. The artist did not simply transform data into notes, but rather used data sonification as an inspirational tool to compose original, creative works of art. So, the sound of data has been about bringing together science and music, innovation and art, creativity and inspiration. And we plan to continue the project, so stay tuned.